Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The Crooked Man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? Gave the order. I don't mean to interrupt you, Gave the White. order. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a yeah, minute. Not. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, He's you're dead. gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Tweedledee stabbed he him. Is still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? I killed I him. I killed him. He's dead. He's... what? Well, I didn't kill so him. So see, the culprit has been punished. I didn't kill There's him. No that doesn't change anything. Tweedle killed him. We'll and I finished it off because he right asked now me. now you're the one I'm concerned with. You no. called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which Maybe case, I did stab you him. still have a lot to answer for. Maybe I did stab him. I think I, I did stab him. Who's allowed to I think. speak? I forgot. We have Remember. to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? Yeah, I'm not gonna... Assist. <clears throat> You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against Georgie. various members of the Fable Town community, including the yeah, attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Shut up. Being and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical kidnapping artifacts. Crane. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. No, he didn't. Yes. Thank you. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lee. Yes, you did. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning. So cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've Just done. Just give it up already. The Crooked Man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it. But we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, I we have to that. start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. Okay. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. Where are you going? He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, are you going to get to your point or what? I don't think he is. Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. Uh... I had nothing to do with it. This is fucking bullshit! Give me a break. You're so full of shit. Well, I thought we could discuss this like civilized people, but apparently for that fuck's isn't going sake. to happen. Do any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. I wouldn't call helpful that isn't the word I would use. My comrades are another matter. And I'm sorry for the predicament they put you in. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. They didn't want to. Yeah, right. You. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. 
They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Um... Uh. Yes, but... Wasn't I? This crane, don't turn this on us. You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. Yeah, and, and she... what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow so isn't why would to you blame. Want that? Don't blame Snow, she had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And... That may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No Trying one Trying to can. protect you will do better. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add he it never to cared his strength. About any of Do you him. really think the Crooked Man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. Yes. And those girls them. will have their justice. We convinced them. We convinced them. We have convinced them. Oh, come on. Very good. Very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. Uh, uh, what are you Vivian. talking about? Well, your what history. about your history? All you've done to this fucking town! What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him! Let me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Well, yes. Yes, you're responsible. Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder. Since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. It was Don't Snow's fault? No, I made what a mistake. What happened with Tweedledum? I made a mistake. He was attacking me, and I... I just acted. I didn't think. That's the only reason? Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now, where have I heard that before? 
Oh. How about the way he treated poor Tweedledee when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we Snow all just let go? You can't be serious. Snow wasn't Snow involved. Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, okay. you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. Isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after not we true. deal with you. That's I not mean, true. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to three. To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Okay. Who will be the- Big B? Miss White! I'm sorry I haven't been talking. I'm just really interested it's in what's going on right now. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. All right. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder. she doing here? Oh, she's a citizen too. I'd like so. to. I, I need to say something. We're she can say something. Of in the of something. Uh, she beer. has something to say. She has something to say, and we're going to listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was. Afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. Yeah, Vivian, kind of a... I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, she this is highly irregular. Be quiet. She wanted you all to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I'm. Nerissa! My name oh, is God. Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just. He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two confirms people it. who ever gave a damn about me. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was all. Yes, I'm winning. Him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid. At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you know? <laughs> yeah. Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. <laughs> so that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, no, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! We're not gonna torture him. Fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You're you done talking. You know we can't let you go free after this. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. <sighs> How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. Been enough okay. blood so blood so blood we get rid of him. We get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Do I get to choose? Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. No, should Ooh. decide. I'm I making the call. I'm not going to say that. Yourself. 
Why we not? should vote. What about a vote? What do you think this is? Look, Snow should decide. Snow should decide what we do with him. She's gonna be the deputy mayor. But so. she's not the deputy mayor yet. What about Bigby? What about No! He's I don't want it. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. I'm the that makes sense to me. I no! Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay, Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Oh, God. Kill. Just do what you think is right. Kill him or imprison him. Yes, Sheriff. Rip his head off! No! What you think is right. Lock Teach him you up. Teach a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. Just fucking get rid of him. I'll throw him down the well. Everyone, I'm not this way. Okay. Oh god! Go, 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 go. Hold him ready! Lots of keys. Lots of keys. Too many keys. Oh, right in his face. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. You're going to miss me. Alright, here we go. No, I won't. Oh god, I threw him down the well. I threw him down the well. For Lily and Faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. 